Hello and welcome to the new episode of Star Muffin YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Comfy UI. Let's get dive into it. First of all, I'm just typing in browser Comfy UI and I'm going to Comfy UI GitHub page. I give you this link as well in the description. You can also go to this website, but in this case, we are not using this one. We're going to use in here on the right side releases tab. So and as you can see version 0.2.2 .2, last month, the latest one, the latest version of Comfy UI. And I'm going to click this link right now. And you can see all the actually what's changed and who the contributors are and also assets so that I'm going to actually use this one on ui underscore windows underscore portable underscore nvidia dot seven z so i'm going to click this one and i'm going to wait until it's downloaded okay so it's downloaded and i'm going to see my folder to click here and also i'm going to right click and cut from there and i'm going to install to another file in here and it passed let's add a new folder here comfy ui and i'm going to move in there and inside in here i'm going to extract to comfy ui windows portable nvidia here and right now it's extracting this file when it's finished i'm going to continue with that point Okay, the extracting process is done. And when it's done, and as you can see, we have a lot of actually folder and files over here. And behind the first one, the Comfy UI Windows Portable, we have two different actually options over here. The first one, you can run this Comfy UI using with your CPU. And the second one runs with NVIDIA GPU. And also we have a read me very important file over here let's have a look in here if you have nvidia gpu and also we have to run this one and if you have cpu mode but run it is actually slow you can run with run cpu.bat also we have make sure have a model checkpoint in conf ui models check points and the first one the starting stable diffusion 1.5 is you can actually download from the hugging days in there and also you can see the name also right so let's have a look for that right now i'm going to go actually conf ui folder in here we have to check our models inside in models in here in the checkpoints our all of the checkpoints goes in here so as you can see we don't have any we have to download a actually checkpoints before we start to config ui we cannot see anything right so let's just going to in here i'm going to run this config ui without any model or without anything so i'm just click this running nvidia gpu bat and as you can see the pytorch version 2.4.1 and our cuda version is 1.2.4 and when it's a start you can see perfectly like this we cannot start right now in this conf ui if i make this on the right side the q prompt and as you can see we are taking an error and also prompts output failed validation checkpoint loader simple value land in listed checkpoint name and also checkpoint name in here the in that folder so that i'm going to use in the readme very important dot text this link to copy and i'm going to a new tab and right click and past and enter and also you can see that file in here stable diffusion 1.5 archive i'm going to here to download but how to download go in here and as you can see under the files and version i'm going to see the download i'm just click this download button so we are downloaded the model i'm going to right click and cut in here to move in comfy ui actually models under the models go to checkpoints and right click and past here so when you passed this one actually our conf ui model and conf ui workflow it's done actually you have to check inside in here and as you can see if you press again q prompt 
we have a name actually same a problem but also we are seeing a new value for his name version 1 and 5 print in my model fp16 safe tensors to actually solve this problem i'm going to refresh this page and then i'm going to select my safe tensor file and this one is load checkpoint so the load checkpoint has right now a model right we have a version 1.5 stable diffusion so the stable diffusion is a model and also we have a clip and we a and e we have a three options over here so that the model is generally refers to the main neural network architecture that performs the primary task such as generating images predicting outcomes etc depending on the specific application this could be a gun which name is generative adversarial network a diffusion model or other types of generative models the clip means this usually stands for contrastive language image pre-training which means clip it's a model developed by OpenAI that connects images and text allowing for better understanding and generation of content based on textual descriptions in the context of a ui the clip model helps align image generation with textual prompts enhancing the quality and relevance of the generated images based on the provided text weae so variational autoencoder is another type of generative model that is particularly good at learning a compressed representation of data which means latent space and then reconstructing it in many generative tasks variational autoencoders help in sampling from the learned distribution making them useful for generating diverse outputs so that also we have a two different clip over here so it's the same but we have two different actually method the first one is positive and the next one we are using this one is negative and also you can actually change the clip color in here right click and colors to red and also select the other text color and to red in here to green so the first one is positive prompt and the next one is negative prompt and also we have to add a empty latent space to actually generate an images which name right now is the stable diffusion 1.5 just allow us a actually 512 by 512 pixel images so the next one is a k sampler so that the k sampler actually takes our model and positive and negative prompts and also our latent images latent spaces and also takes another options to mixing them with actually converting to an latent space image but this one needs actually auto variational encoders decode this latent space and then okay we have an output so that we this one is actually Actually saves all of the images if you go to confi UI folder you can see the output and also all of your output images just extracts here so let's get try the first thing for example like I'm just writing in here so I had it style park or building and I'm going to add a negative prompt which means text watermark and blur like that and also we are seeing on the right side in here just cue the prompt this box is we need to manage this all of the things in here or oh, actually in the conf UI so that the first thing is cue the prompt if you cue the prompt you can perfectly run this model so if I press this one the first thing our models just loads and also our all of the our clips and latent space goes k sampler and y decode and also the save images we can see the perfectly 512 by 512 pixel images and as you can see is like this and if I go to again output file and I'm going to see my all of the images over here the first actually model is stable diffusion 1.5 i have make any kind of settings to solve this actually uh, results right so that if i make the q prompt it's perfectly works for different kind of settings over here and i see a lot of a lot of results over here but and as you can see 
The stable diffusion in this model, unfortunately, not perfectly fine. So that we have to look another model to create perfect images. In this tutorial, I just showed you the Comfy UI. So that's if you like the video, please like, comment down below. Thank you for watching me and see you next time.